Wired and Waste Digest, and I'm here at ABB Automation and Power World in Houston. I'm joined today by Jeff Bell. He is a Senior Application Engineer for ABB Low Voltage Drives, here to discuss harmonics. What are harmonics as they relate to a variable frequency drive? Harmonics related to variable frequency drives are disturbances or distortion of the current and voltage waveform on a utility system. VFDs create these by because they're nonlinear loading. So examples of nonlinear loadings are power supplies, battery chargers, uh, anything that converts AC power to DC power. Uh, drives are probably the number one harmonic producers in a system. Uh, IEEE, or the standard we use is IEEE 519 to measure what are acceptable levels for a harmonic in a system. Why is this important to our viewers? Um, it's important to your viewers with harmonics is a system has to supply uh, the fundamental currents and also the harmonic currents in the system. So if your harmonic currents go up, that means your transformer has less fundamental currents in its system, in turn you need to increase the transformer size, increase the wire size, increase the fuse size. Um, in turn you don't have as much uh, currents available to you. So if you look at future plant expansion, you might have to add more transformers to your system. Also, the utility company, if their harmonics are too high, in turn cause bad power factor, uh, the utility system will fine you for poor power factor. Now, how can viewers solve these problems? There's many solutions. Uh, the first solution would be adding reactants to the system. It could be AC, DC uh, reactors, um, or you could look at the ABB ACS 550 with a patented swinging choke in it, or even a line reactor. Uh, it's the simplest, uh, least complex solution out there, um, but the benefits aren't that great. Uh, next solution would be a passive or harmonic trap filter in the system. The benefit to this is I can size that filter for multiple VFDs, or variable frequency drives. Uh, the next solution after that would be a high pulse rectification, typically known as 12 pulse, 18, 24, 36. Uh, with a pulse solution, additional hardware is required. Uh, auto transformer, additional bridge rectification is needed, in turn making your enclosure larger, Your unit bigger. The next solution that uh, ABB customers ask for is our ultra low harmonic solution or active front end. The benefit to this is no additional hardware, transformer, or dial front ends are needed for this solution. And the last final solution would be a, a harmonic active filter that ABB has customers ask for that we can provide. And the benefit to this is it will correct uh, bad harmonics or poor harmonics across your whole utility system. So what does this all mean for readers of Water and Waste Digest? Water and Wastewater, typically uh, the transformers sized were sized back when the motor was across the line or a linear load. Uh, you put VFDs in there and now the transformers are not big enough and you're creating more harmonics. So typically they like to adhere to the IEEE 519 standard because of the sizing of the transformers, pole transformers that are out in the field. So where can viewers go to get more information about all this? More information can be found at www.abb.us forward slash drives. Right. Thanks Jeff for being with us here today and giving us all this information. Thank you.